here's today's update we have the slope and we have jumping I've gotten rid of the physics materials at the edges so we do have some issues near the walls but right now I'm not concerned about that for now I'm more focused on moving along the planes and jumping and if I look at the player controller the most important part of today's update is the ground detection here on collision stay means on every frame whenever something is touching the collider this function is called and for each of the collisions I'm getting the contact points and this vector the curve I named it the curve because if I look at the editor this line is roughly where the curve begins and if I hit play this blue line represents a vector that goes from the contact point to the curve or to the center point where the curve begins so that's what this code is all about this part is pretty straightforward if the blue line is going up to the curve y is a positive number meaning the object is hitting somewhere in the bottom of the capsule if the blue line is going down y is a negative number which means the object is hitting the upper part i'm going to play again okay so that's what the blue line means so once you figure out ground detection jumping is really easy here jump all i'm doing is clearing the previous force and adding the upward jump force the only reason why i have these three variables is because i have to wait for the current fixed update to finish if i don't wait i might reset the jump even before the player gets off the ground and that's all the important updates the little ones is moving things like the horizontal move and the rotation under subcomponents. So instead of having everything under the player controller, I move them over to separate scripts. If I look at horizontal move, it's mostly the same. Oh wait, these should be player controllers transform forward. So aside from these little things, the code is the same. I added three different cases where you're grounded or jumping or falling. But again, the very basic idea of adding force and using velocity change force mode is exactly the same. The same case with rotation. It's the same code from the last video. The subcomponent is just an abstract class that has a reference to the player controller and these two classes inherit from it back in the editor here are the subcomponents the game objects and the script so nothing complex yet i'm trying to keep things simple and looks like things are working fine Okay, aside from these issues, the friction, the wall physics, I think the experiment is going well, and I'm going to add more details later on. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.